Hi today I'm going to show you the project that I have been working on. It is an arcade joystick using the SP32S2 Mini as a joystick controller. Here is the project goal that I plan to meet. First, SOCD compatible. Second, using the low-cost ESP32S2 Mini which is costed around $2. Third, typical joystick polling rate is 4 millisecond, but in this project I will try to make it 1 millisecond. Fourth, if I have more time maybe I will add more feature to it. For example, programmable macro moves. Here is the connection diagram that I'm using for the joystick. Please note that each push button share the same ground pin. I reserve the I.O. number 17 and 18 as TX and RX for debugging the firmware. This is a hitbox style joystick frame that I bought from AliExpress. It costs around $25. And I also bought arcade push button switch from Amazon. The main controller is the ESP32S2 mini board. This one I bought from AliExpress which costed around $2. Let's start assembly the joystick. It's time to attach the USB Type-C cable and connect to the PC USB port so we can download the joystick firmware into ESP32S2 Mini. Next step, we need to push ESP32S2 Mini into firmware download mode. By simultaneously holding reset button and zero button at the same time. Then release zero button first follow by releasing reset button. If you do correctly you will see the ESP32S2 device pop up on your device manager. Check the COM port number that Windows assigned to the device. Now I can start Visual Studio Code with the SPIDF plugin to compile and download the firmware to the controller. I won't go through the code much, but if you are interested the link to the code is provided down below. One thing that I like to show you is the polling task is running every 1 millisecond. In order to achieve this, you need to set RTOS tick to 1000 Hz.
after firmware download completed, you may see the failed message, but this is normal for ESP32-S2 board. After firmware download completed, if you hit the reset button on ESP32-S2 the windows should detect the new joystick. Let's check the joystick buttons if they are working correctly and SOCD function. Up button is working. Down buttons is working. All buttons seem to be working as expected. Oh I added two more buttons in the back of my joysticks. Let me show you. Now let's check SOCD function, if you press left and right in the same time, the left and right direction will be in natural position. If all directions are pressed, the joystick positions will be in natural position. If you press up and down in the same time, joystick direction will be in up position. Seem everything is working as expected. Next I will try my joystick with Steam on my PC. Here is how I map the joystick button in Steam. Let's try to hit some combos in Street Fighter V. Please note that I'm not good at this game so bear with me. After 30 trials maybe, I finally hit the success combo. Thanks for watching.